Hi everyone. So this video will learn how you can get the selected value from a drop down using JavaScript. So let's get started. We need a basic HTML structure and we need to add the script tag here. Script file is script.js. Let me create a basic layout. Later I will explain how it will actually work. So we need a container here. We need one H3 element. Text will be select programming language. We need the select element. Uh, we don't need name and ID. We need a couple of options. So let's make it JavaScript. Same goes here. Let's copy and paste. And let's make it angular react and c sharp same goes here angular react and c sharp we also need one default option so just to copy and paste it here we don't need any value here so it will be disabled and hidden because we don't want user to select it from the drop down and by default it will be selected we need one h2 element here text will be result add style attribute here and text align will be center now just save it open this file in the browser And this is the output. It should not be JavaScript. It should be select. Okay. So now you can select the programming language. Now let's try to understand what we are trying to achieve here. So from this drop down, if I'll select any programming language, for example, React, I want to display React here. If I'll select Angular, I want Angular. Let's go to script file and select this element and the h2 element so that we can display the result. So first of all, we'll select the select element. And then we'll select the h2 element. Now we need to add an event listener to this selection and that event listener will be change. This will be the handler function. Now before I start writing the next code, uh, you must know that behind the scene, these options have a selection index. Index always starts from zero. So this will have the index of zero. This will have the index of one. This will be two, this will be three and this will be now to get this text from a selection index we need to make use of this piece of code sorry it should be in a text so selection dot options and selection dot selected index and we'll try to get the text that's it now just save it go to browser Select JavaScript, you'll get JavaScript. If you will select Angular, you'll get the Angular. And let me show you the index. So just copy this and the console log, I will show you the index. Just save it, go to browser, open the console window. And if I'll select JavaScript, I'll get the one. If I'll select Angular, two, React 3 and C sharp 4. So these are the selection indexes. If you do not want the text, you want the exact value, you can make value here. Then it will give you the value, not the text. So just save it, go to browser, select, you can see. Now we are getting the value. I can prove it to you. If I'll put some XYZ here for the React. I'll get XYZ. 
I hope you got the point how to actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.